Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, hi everyone. So I don't know what this video is gonna be about, but I just wanna come up here and rant a little bit. So I just moved in into my new apartment. I don't know, it was a really, really exhausting process. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I'm here now. And I don't know, but I just wanna do this video to document my journey because I feel like moving into this apartment to me uh, indicates a new, like a huge step in my life and a huge progress. I don't wanna say progress, but I feel like I'm gonna accomplish some stuff in here, inshallah. Let's be very hopeful, yeah. So, uh, after I moved in here, so I graduated from college. I went to college with the intention of wanting to go to medical school to become a doctor and then in my thing third year of college um i don't know stuff happened i grew out of that phase not grew out of that phase but i don't know for me i like learned more about life and what i really wanted and i learned more about myself and i figured or found out that there is uh, becoming a doctor is not something that that is a passion for me or that is something that I would want to do so I switch so in my third year of um, third year actually it's fourth year of college I switched to pharmacy school because within that time frame I was already in the process or I was already like halfway through almost halfway there not half, I was almost done and I couldn't go back and switch my major to something else. So I was like, okay, what is the closest thing that I can do? Like, what is the closest thing of like, at this point, it didn't become a passion for me. I was like, okay, so medical school is something you have to be passionate about because it is really like time consuming, very extensive. Um, you learn a lot of information in a limited time. And even though even though I could go in without the passion, I feel like that is like a huge commitment. And if you don't have the passion for it, I don't think you're gonna like it. Or if you become, I don't think it's something you're gonna be enjoying, or you're gonna be enjoy doing. So that was one reason why. And then, but also some people would say, okay, so you can still do it for your money. You know what I mean? Like you can still become a doctor and like, you can still be, a good doctor and still wanting to do it for the money but i don't know if that is something that i've ever seen someone do because i don't know if you really want to be good at something you have to be passionate about it and so i don't know but medical school it was like i can't i couldn't even do it for the money it's like no so my next option was like what is the closest thing that i could do like since i was a pre-med major all of most of my classes were like already in that area i couldn't like switch to something different and i was already in my fourth year so i took one more year to switch to pharmacy so so i did like i took some few courses pharmacy and pre-med were not that different the prerequisites are not that different from each other so i did that yeah, i switched to pre-pharmacy uh, pre and then who am i getting awkward okay so i switched to uh pre-pharmacy and then i took about four or five extra courses and i took one year more one year more one year more no one more year of um college and then um so i graduated but then i wanted to apply to pharmacy school straight ahead like out of right out of college and not take a gap year but then i was like uh is this something i really want to do even though pharmacy is not something that it's not my passion it's like something it's like i love research but like also you could work in a research facility as a pharmacist but i don't think you can make money out of that it's not like something that you know you can live you can live you can still live comfortably but like can you make money out of it i don't know okay you can see money is also a passion <laughs> but whatever okay so of oh mine um so i like picked pharmacy because it wasn't that much different from pre-med because uh, especially re regarding like the prerequisite and stuff since I was already in my fourth year of uh, college and I didn't want to do any extra years so I chose pre-pharmacy 
and then in my process i went and i i was like in the process of applying for pharmacy school i was like i don't want to take a gap year i really i really want to go straight into pharmacy school so i like finished the application i submitted my recommendation letter and for some weird reason i decided that i want to take a gap year so um i switched so i like okay I left okay so i actually applied to the university of florida and then i actually that was the only school that i applied to in the process um, for pharmacy school and then i actually got an interview offer but i um, declined and i decided to take a gap year and so now here am i here i am here i am and um yes yeah, so i took a gap year i'm taking a gap year now i moved from my other apartment to this and the good part the favorite part the important part is i don't have any roommates alhamdulillah praise be to god oh, you guys don't want to hear the nightmares of having roommates whatever so i moved here um my journey this year or the gap year is i am planning to accomplish my goals i have a few goals that i want to accomplish really bad before i like commit myself to another four years of school so i want to do those goals and then also work as a pharmacy technician to gain more experience and to see what i'm getting myself into so i'm also doing a pharmacy technician course on the side so i hope that goes well inshallah mm, and also i decided to start my youtube channel to be a content creation within that one year to i'm just getting myself out of my comfort zone and i want to do something different i want to you see it like you can see english is not my second language it's not like my first language so i'm planning to like you know while i talk to my camera and my phone my best friend i'm gonna learn how to you know like just practice and become better and become confident in the way i speak english so yeah um that's uh, one of the main reasons why I want to do content creation and share my life but also as you can see I'm a Muslim so I am also I also want to become like to learn more about my deen and become better Muslim and stuff so I also want to share that journey with you guys and yeah what else oh yes I'm not gonna actually I really do not want to share my like other goals because I heard that if you want to do something, don't talk about it until you start. So I want to do that. So yeah, uh, but I have a lot of goals and I want to accomplish within this one year. So, but you guys are going to see soon, but I'm really excited. I can't wait. So I'm going to take you guys along with decorating my apartment and like settling in. What else? Yeah, I think that's about it. So. Thank you so much and welcome to my channel, whatever.